A field of 10 three-year-old trotting fillies are lining up behind the gate for the $89,000 Coaching Club Oaks. They're at the post and heading toward the start. Off stride, accountability. Number five, accountability is on a break. And they're off. Funny Malentine had her nose on the gate and looks to clear the field before the opening turn. Pansy fed from the inside second and Lady Lynn trots away up close. Invincible Dream floated out of there fourth on the outside and racing in fifth is Almond Joy who's just four lengths from the early pace. Rant and Rave settles early in sixth. Then Ideal Lease on the inside is seventh. Eighth on the outside, Jody's Jamie. Ninth is Enjoy the Sun and the gate breaker accountability is at the tail of the field trying to catch up trailing as they head toward the opening quarter. First quarter split in a soft 29 and 1. Not a lot of pace here, so Lady Lind and the Catman edge their way to the outside, and they're coming up to challenge Funny Malentine, and Lady Lind goes right around her, and the pace still not all that fast as they hit the back stretch. Pansy Fed sits in third, Invincible Dream is tipped to the outside. Almond Joy picks up that cover. She's second over, hoping to get carried closer there, and Rant and Rave gaps cover slightly third over, sixth on the outside, as Invincible Dream goes right around Lady Lind and takes the lead. That leaves Almond Joy first up the half was in 57 and 4. Further back in the field, racing in seventh is Ideal Lease. Jody's Jamie has just passed her. Enjoy the Sun is off the cones, and Patsy Fed is able to squeeze out in the cover flow there. Now third over, and far behind is Accountability, who is the trailer. So it's Invincible Dream who leads it. Almond Joy is on her wheel, applying some pressure on the outside, and Lady Lynn finds herself locked in on the inside, although she's gapped back from the leader a bit in third. Rant and Rave in position for a rally second over, and a shuffle for Funny Malentine, who's trapped in traffic fifth, three quarters, 126 and one. Invincible Dream leads it with an eighth of a mile to go. Almond Joy hanging in there first up. Lady Lynn looking for a way through is trapped in behind the leader. Rant and Rave kicks off cover with a length and a half to make up. Invincible Dream leads it. Rant and Rave trying to gun her down. Lady Lynn trying to squeeze through. Invincible Dream, Rant and Rave drifting. These two hit the line together. It was tight. Invincible Dream and a drifting Rant and Rave in 155 and one. Returning to the winner's circle, number eight, Invincible Dream, who has just doubled her career earnings with this win in the Coaching Club Oaks. She's a Conway Hall three-year-old filly out of Insidious Charm by Crowning Point, owned by the 5012 Stables of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Jimmy Tactor, the trainer, and Mike Lachance is in the sulky. Invincible Dream with her first win of the season. Time for this mile, career best, 155 and one-fifth. In the winner's circle, the director of racing here at the Meadowlands, Mr. Tad Stockman, to make the Coaching Club Oaks trophy presentation to the 5012 stable members and winning driver Mike Lachance. It is official, and it's Invincible Dream in the 2004 Coaching Club Oaks. Number eight, Invincible Dream, pays 2240, 880, and 480. Second, number four, Rant and Ray, also Superfecta, Exacta, Trifecta, and pick three.